Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be picking our orders that have sold over the weekend and the beginning of today. Today is Monday, which is the first day of the week that I do uh, packages for sending out. I do Monday, Wednesday and Friday now. My account is set to three day dispatch, but it works out about two days unless you order on the Friday evening and then you have to wait until the Monday obviously to get your parcel, but that's fine or to get your parcel sent out. Um, before we do that, I'm just gonna show you around this room. So this is my intake room that I like to call it. So when I get a new stock, it comes in here, it gets photographed and then it goes off into the storage room. And then obviously when it sells, it comes from back there, back into here and I pack it, I do the label and all that good stuff. Now, if you've been around the channel for a while, you would have seen my old table that I had here was just a wallpaper paste table with some white foam core board on it for my photography area. And it was not great. Um, I'd had it since I'd moved into this house in March uh, and I had it at the old house as well, just cause I didn't have anything permanent, but I've now built something permanent. It is a bit of a mess in here, all of my bags, cause I've been doing pics uh, pickups on the weekend and stuff like that and this table is completely full of stock that I've been photographing that now needs to go over to there so just ignore the stuff on the table but I'm just going to show you real quick the area itself because it is much better than what I had before uh, this light here eventually will be placed up here on the ceiling so then I can like have it down straight over the top but yeah basically as you can see hopefully you can see this okay on the camera i have installed a permanent wooden table now this is like it's not a door it's like a unit side of a unit from b and q um so this is solid it's screwed in underneath here as you can see we got timber uh, we got a middle beam here i have a hole in the corner for my cables to come through for my laptop and my printer which is fantastic. So this is proper solid, like this ain't going nowhere. And the great thing about this is it's wiped down. So I can use baby wipes or cleaner wipes or whatever, and I can wipe this down and it's fantastic. So the light lights this up completely, perfectly. And then on the wall here, I have two uh, cabinet ends, which also are white and these are wipeable as well. So if I get any marks on these, which happens sometimes because you get dirty stuff or stuff that has like rubber on and then it will make like a mark. Uh, it can all be wiped down and this looks fantastic on photos. So I was using an app before on the iPhone. Excuse me, I've got hiccups. Um, I was using an app previously on the iPhone called Photo Room. And basically what that is, if you have like a white background or not even a white background, but you have okay lighting, you can take a photo on there and it will remove the entire background and it will give you a nice white background, which looks okay, but the problem is it takes shadows away as well. So it kind of just makes it look like a stock photo and people don't really like to buy like stuff that has stock photos. So the good thing about this is it does a nice clean white background, but you keep the shadows. So it looks real. It looks like an actual item in physical space rather than uh, what I was using before. But yeah, good good app though. If you have like an area that's not fantastic and you're not happy with like the color of the background, it's not completely white or your lighting's not fantastic, I would definitely recommend downloading Photo Room on the iPhone. It's not on Apple, uh, sorry, it's not on uh, Android at the moment. It's only on Apple. Uh, it's free to use completely. Uh, so check it out. It's really worth it but now i've upgraded to this so as you can see i have my light box here which will be put up here somewhere probably like hanging around here and i'll just turn it on and it will light from the uh, from downwards um i have my printer which i nearly blew up the other day so basically what happened was when i put the cable through the power on this machine was turned on um, obviously it wasn't plugged in, but when I plugged the power into it, there was like a massive spark and I was like, oh no, I just blown up my printer. And this light was red for like five minutes. I was gutted. I was like, no, I just wasted like 120 quid right there. Cause I got it second hand. Um, but eventually the old girl turned back on and she seems to be working okay. Although I've not printed on it since I've done that. Uh, but it does eject labels, so I'm hoping 
that she's all good. And then I have my laptop here, obviously, for doing the labels. Um, I don't list on here. I list in my bedroom where I have my gaming PC. It's just comfier. Um, and then I have all of my tape and all scissors and stuff I need. And my scales. Yes, I do use kitchen scales. They max up to five kilos, which is pretty much a, all I ever use, uh, go up to. I don't really ship anything over five kilograms. If I do, um, I'll just... Uh, buy a new scale at that point uh, but I don't plan on starting to ship stuff that's heavier than that under here I have some baby wipes they were for cleaning the uh, the unit um, we have all of our packing supplies down here so we have the bubble wrap which I need to get some more of Yoda is down there for some reason how you doing mate um, we have all of my poly mailers down here we have a box full of labels so this is another reason why I love my printer. So that printer was 120 quid second hand, right? Um, no ink at all. And I got six of these rolls. These rolls have 500 labels on, right? So 3,000 labels, and that cost me 22 pounds. Try and print 3,000 labels on an inkjet for 22 quid. It's not gonna happen. So this machine is a time saver and an absolute money saver in the long run. So absolutely love it. And um, yeah, I would highly recommend if you're in the eBay business and you've still not got a uh, thermal printer, uh, it is so worth it. I know it's a big expense. I know that it took me a long time to bite the bullet and get one, but Oh my God, you will absolutely thank me later. I promise, I promise, I absolutely promise. If you're doing anything over like three items a day, you have to get a thermal. Anyway, we're gonna head straight over into the stock room. Uh, it may be a little bit messy in here at the moment because like I said, I've been organizing the other room and it's kind of just got a little bit out of hand. So. I don't even know where I'm going to put you today. I guess we have to put you over this side. So let's set you up real quick. Like so. I don't know whether I'm in frame, but we're just going to go with it. Okay, so we have... How many items do we have to pick today? 15, it says. So 15 paid, now ready to dispatch. Okay, first item we have... God, this room is really messy. I need to fix this. Not right now, though. Anyway, first item we have to ship out is a Boppet Extreme, which I believe I put down here. Um, so I'll be back in a second. Yes. Think it needs new batteries. These new batteries, it's all working though. Uh, so that we picked up, where did I get that from? Oh yeah, we got that from the charity shop. Uh, like two or three days, last week sometime. Uh, we paid one pound for this, I believe. And that has sold for 15 and three pound 50 postage. Next up, we have sold a vintage Ertl 1986 Thomas and Friends metal engine and that should be in there somewhere and this one sold this morning actually so that's great number six on the bag there we go look at that thomas actually it's not thomas because it's number two which one is it edward edward engine number two in blue from 1986 a uh, really lovely condition. It's lost a little bit of its paint, uh, but people don't mind that because these are die cast. They're really sturdy stuff. The wheels are all good. Um, great there. So that will be going out. And that little thing there sold for £7 plus £3 postage. Next up, we have Lego figures and horse bundle. So vintage horses. As you can see, these are not the normal Lego horses that you would be accustomed to. That is because these are the ones that came out before, I believe, the new ones that were like more squarish. Um, so these were for the old characters before the new minifigs come out. So these were the original shape of a Lego figure, I believe. Um, so she like sits in there. Or maybe these were just specific to the Breville or Breville. Or I don't know how to spell Ville sets i don't know all i know is these are lego they're vintage and i got 18 pounds for these three horses and the little character so 
that is a nice little sell so if you ever see horses like that that are lego pick them up they do really good yeah 18 pounds plus postage on that we also sold our imaginex which is right under here I... oh and we broke it again there we go so this little bundle here we have the imaginex batman cave with two figures we have batman and whoever that is i don't know who that is um, I don't do superheroes, and uh, this little bat thing that goes up here somehow. We got £12 for this, plus £5 postage, and I paid £2, I believe, for this? I can't remember. It was in last week's Sunday car boot video, if you want to go check it out. Uh, but yeah. Right, next up we have a fire engine, which is actually right up here. So lots of big things going out today. I'm going to have to make a trip over to Hermes drop-off um yeah so this is the trunky that we got in sunday's video was it last week or the week before i can't remember uh i think we paid two pounds for this or two pound fifty and this one has sold for 13 i did take an offer of 13 plus the postage so happy to see this one go out um it's all the lock mechanisms are in place and the little key is there as well so that just like fits in and then it like locks it and unlocks it and whatnot so yeah I think it was last week, I remember, because this one has the uh, the over-the-shoulder strap, uh, which you want to look out for, because you will get a little bit more money if it has this, because it has the key on it for a start, and uh, the parents like to carry it on the shoulder. Um, and also, I think, if you detach this, like so, it turns into like a hand, like a pull-along handle. So the whole idea of this is the child sits on top, uh, at the airport and then you pull them along with it so if it doesn't have this the kid kind of has to like walk himself or herself so yeah look out for the handle because people will buy it a lot quicker if it comes with that okay right what do we have next we have a cancellation fantastic um need to make sure that one's relisted because ebay doesn't seem to be doing that at the moment for me puzzle which is a good question because as you can see they're all over the place right now which is great um, so this is sold for, drum roll please, twenty three ninety nine, and this is Fantasy Art Jigsaw Puzzle Dragons of Desolation by Kevin Parkinson. So when I do puzzles, I always buy dependent on the picture. So stuff that sells well for me, Christmas always sells well, believe it or not, throughout the entire year. Um, scenes, like nature scenes they do great um what else does great um weird stuff okay i know that's a that's a big um description but weird stuff and then fantasy stuff as well so if you ever see anything like dragons or castles or stuff like this fantasy it always sells really really well and you can fetch a good price and this is also vintage this was from 84 1984 um so yeah really good price on that 23.99 and they pay 10 pound postage which tells me they're in europe somewhere uh, not within the uk so uh, that is really nice sale um i will be putting tracking on that though because for 24 pound i want to make sure it gets there right next up we have the kettle works 10 pound five pound weight so this one is definitely going to have to go with herms because i ain't sending 15 kilos or something 15 pounds with uh with royal mail that's not going to happen so yeah we got 45 pounds plus 10 pound postage for this and i believe the weight isn't too bad it's 15 pounds which is what seven kilos plus this so maybe like seven and a half um which through herms is under 10 pounds within the uk i believe um so yeah we have a 10 pound kettlebell uh a five pound mini kettlebell and then we have the complete dvd collection plus the introduction dvd uh five of which are brand new and sealed the other five have been used so yeah i had it up for 50 took an offer of 45 which is a really good deal and i think i paid seven pound at the car boot sale like a couple of weeks ago um i think it was the first one i did back actually um you would have seen he asked 10 pounds and i counted at seven i think um yeah so happy with that one 
I don't know how I'm gonna box it to be honest, but we'll think of something. Um, we'll get that done, that's not a problem. Next up, we have a vintage t shirt, it's actually downstairs. And I can't be bothered to go get it right now while I'm recording. So I'll put a picture right here. This is a vintage 80s Glen Muir. I think that's how you say it. Glen Muir or Glen Muir. Uh, I don't play golf, so I have no idea. Uh, gold um, polo men's XL in blue, green, purple and cyan. It's like a really um, like old style. Like The colour scheme is really cool, actually. It's like one sleeve's purple, one's green and the main bit's blue. Uh, really, really nice. I actually enjoy it. Um, but yeah, we got £30 and 39 pence for that one. Um, yeah, it took ages to sell though. Um, but happy to see that one go. We've also sold a, another Doctor Who, part 40, the 12th Doctor. Okay, so that is the 12th Doctor. Now, if you don't know already, or it's the first time you're watching one of my picking videos of my sales, uh, we bought a massive bundle of Doctor Who figures. They're all brand new and sealed, and they do come with their corresponding magazine. Uh, they just take too long to get out on camera, so I won't be doing that. Uh, but yeah, this one has sold for £10 plus £3 postage, and this is number 40, the 12th Doctor. So that is good. To see go out. Next up, we've set sold the Kylo Ren voice mask that we picked up last week. Now there was an issue with this mask. The mask is in really good condition, actually. To be fair, uh, the only problem was there was some glue on the underside of the cape here. So obviously this comes down the front, so you're not going to see that. But the only other issue was obviously the voice box. Now they had let a battery completely explode inside the compartment uh, and it was so corroded that when I tried to clean the spring, it snapped off, like completely just snapped off, obliterated. So there's no way I can fix that without getting new springs or I don't even know whether that's fixable to be honest at this point. So I listed it as the mask only with no sound system available. Um, basically, if they want to buy it just for the mask, for cosplay, then they can do so. But I don't expect that the speaker is going to work because it's it's just not going to work. You're going to have to like take this thing completely apart and I'm not going to do that. Um, but yeah, this sold. And surprisingly enough, we got £20. <laughs> We got £20 plus £3.50 postage on this one, and I'm really happy with that price. So, yeah. All right, here we go. So this is one of those items I picked up a while ago in a charity shop, and I never got round to listing it. So it's a, um, it's an anti-shock, better, uh, made out of aluminium walking slash hiking stick. It's got a really nice handle. It's got foam, and then on the bottom it's got this like shock spring system. Um, I had this for ages, like a month, and I never listed it. It just kind of sat around, and I never bothered to, to list it. The photo was there. It was ready to be listed. I never did it. And then the other day, I was like, why have I not listed that? So I listed it, and within a day, it had sold, and we got £15. The spring's pretty cool, actually. Uh, and we actually picked up another one yesterday, and it's brand new. Uh, still in the packaging, so that's always good. Uh... Zomba. So we picked up this for 50p. Can you believe it? 50p off the teddy lady at the car boot sale. And it is brand new. Like, I've already taped it up. I can't show you. Uh, inside there, they have two brand new weights. Uh, it has two, three games, I believe. Three packs full of games. I can't remember exactly. Or one game and four DVDs or something. And yeah, we've turned that 50p into £25 plus postage. It says £8 postage, so it's probably going abroad. Let me have a look. Yes, Denmark. Uh, this is going off to Denmark. So this will Royal Mail to Denmark. And uh, yeah, that's pretty crazy, right? 50p and it's off to Denmark for £25. Fantastic. That is why I love doing eBay. Not just because it earns me a living, but we're basically saving items. If you think about it, if... All of us resellers didn't go to charity shops, didn't go to car boot sales. What would happen to all these items? They would end up in the skip. They would end up in the in the landfill. Like, it's just, you know, charities would earn way less money without us. Um, and 
a lot of this stuff would just end up in the trash but we're saving it we're taking it from somewhere where no one wants it and we're offering it to people at a fair price most of the time some people don't offer fair prices but there we go uh next up we have a vintage brass helmet and i cannot remember for the love of me where i put this uh probably in here found it two pound we pay for this this is i can take this one out this is a brass vintage brass fireman's helmet paperweight and we paid two pound for this it's really nice the inside's got a little bit of uh not corrosion what's that tarnish that's what it's called tarnish in there this can be all buffed up into a really nice if someone has like a cleaner kit really nice and shiny uh 18 pounds plus three pound postage so yeah the little trinkets like this if you know what you're looking out for you can uh, really make some nice money and the good thing about this is tiny so it doesn't take up hardly any room and uh yeah two pound into 18 happy days uh we sold some uh hoover bags uh i think i paid three pound for this or two pound fifty and inside it's completely full i never showed you this guys completely full of genuine panasonic hoover bags or vacuum cleaner bags from an older uh, panasonic hoover or vacuum cleaner um and yeah basically this one item here has gone out for five pounds we have four of these bags and then we have two of the boxed ones and then we have another one of these bags and then we have some loose ones so there's like 50 quid in this bag and uh yeah one has gone out for five pounds and that's completely covered the entire bag's worth uh so happy for that really really happy with that sale uh seven pound fifty plus three pound postage so that's really nice i don't know whether this one's actually in stock right now i'll have to double check and then update it if not uh because that's always good so this box is in like not great condition it is all complete in there though um one thing i would say about connect four is you can actually get more money if you just throw the game away and just sell the tokens on their own but obviously you don't have to bag it all up you have to have a listing or whatever um, i just list the whole thing as one i get like seven to ten pound depending on condition and it goes out all in one go but if you have the patience to only sell like two little tokens at a time for three pounds or something um then it can be worth to actually split these into the tokens but yeah so if you ever buy one of these and it's not complete don't just chuck it away um it's always worth keeping hold of and parting out at that point. Um, yeah, okay. So that is all of the sales. But I believe one more has just come through while we've been... Um, what was that notification for? I got paid £11.50, but I don't know what from. There we go. Now it's come through. Okay, so... <laughs> talking about uh, the vacuum bags... I guess talking, they always do say that if you touch something, it will start to sell. That sounds really weird, but there's like this conspiracy in the eBay world that if you've had something for ages and you like find it again and you like touch it, that it will sell like really quickly. Um, it's obviously just coincidence, but it does happen a lot and it is quite freaky. Anyway, what we have sold is the loose bags so we have sold the panasonic loose bags here so these are for the exact same vacuum cleaner as the other one that i pulled out these are just these are these but they've been taken out of their bag and never been used so there's eight here and they have sold for eight pounds plus three pound postage um yeah so another sell of them so we have sold 12 pounds worth now from a three pound buy and we still have this entire bag left so like i said there's like 40 pound 50 pounds in that bag for sure anyway thank you so much for watching today's video i've been recording for 33 minutes hopefully the video is uh cut down a little bit from that because that's quite ridiculous but thank you so much for joining today really appreciate it hopefully you've enjoyed the items that i've sold i do want to point out that my sales have actually been really bad the last week uh, i'm not going to stand here and tell you that my sales have been fantastic because they've not 
I know a lot of people in the Discord, join the Discord, uh, have been struggling with their sales in the last week as well. And there is kind of like a theory going around that the managed payments coming in has kind of like changed something. And a lot of people have experienced lower sales all of a sudden. Um, it's not just me. If it's happening to you as well, don't panic. Uh, it's, it is it does seem to be like affecting a lot of people so maybe there's just something going on right now in the world uh, where loads of people have decided not to buy on eBay I don't think it could be anything to do with corona maybe I don't know is everyone suddenly run out of money I don't know um, whatever it seems to be hopefully this week will be a better one than last week but yeah these are my sales for the last uh, two days basically uh, the weekend which was a little bit better than the week but not amazing to be honest um yeah i'm gonna go pack these up get them shipped out to my customers thank you so much for watching if you liked today's video please do leave a like subscribe join the discord if you haven't already in the description there is loads of links to amazon stuff so if you need any supplies or camera equipment for starting your own youtube channel if you use those links i earn a little bit of money and uh yeah some of your money goes to me instead of amazon so that's always a good thing right uh but yeah thank you so much for watching and i will i will of course see you guys in the next video Bye.